This Carnotaur is like a high level female, so um, if we could get some arrows. Yeah, she's a 135. Oh, you know what though? If it stays stuck here. Ooh. Ow? Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up right where we left off. This is episode two. In episode one, we died, and then after that, we died, and then when we were finished dying, we died a few more times. <laughs> but that's the way it goes uh, when you play this game. Uh, so if you didn't catch the first episode, uh, I am playing on a multiplayer server in my Discord community. And um, so far, uh, it's just me, but I am expecting you know to have other people join us, and uh, we're going to do some multiplayer as well as single player as we have fun with this. Okay, so we're picking up right where we left off. Uh, we did manage to get as far as making our cloth armor in the last episode. And we are uh, level 8. We need to get to level 10 in order... Okay, well, we just got to level 9 in order to make arrows for our, our crossbow. Um, so why don't we put this point into fortitude because I was having a really hard time with, with being cold. So we're going to put, put that point into fortitude. And then, like I said, we have to wait till we hit the level 10 to, to make arrows. That's kind of my next short-term goal to get to. And so let's go out and c gather resources. I want to see if there are any more um, of these crates or barrels. Not those per se so much, but the ones that still have loot in them. Uh, because we can get tools and food and other things like that in it. So uh, I've already harvested quite a few of them, but I don't know that I've harvested every every single one that's available. Um, if we get do get attacked by a predator, <clears throat> uh, we have the option of running out into the ocean, and there does not appear to be any animals, uh, you know, sharks and that sort of thing, dangerous animals, in the water. So this is a semi-safe location for us, even though said predator could pin us down. So we'll just see. So our first order of business is to go around and just harvest the rest of the barrels and crates. Um, I'm not really so much worried about the scrap wood, because I think we... Do we just get wood from this? Oh, we get wood and thatch. Okay. Oh, we're already encumbered. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, you know, maybe we shouldn't... Here, let's drop that. This is my tools chest. I think what we'll do is we'll also store the metal in there and then let's put this and this and that and that in there. We should be able to go back and pick this up now. And we pooped. Yay. That's good. I kind of have that bowel movement in. It's, uh, it's, it's good for overall health and well-being. Just in Just in case some of you didn't know that. Okay, here we go. This Carnotaur is like a high-level female. So, um, if we could get some arrows. Yeah, she's a 135. Oh, you know what, though? If it stays stuck here. Ooh. Ow. Could potentially kill it. Okay. I need to... I need to get my stamina back. Man, I wish I had my arrows right now. Okay, here. Come back over here. Please. Come eat me. I need it to, to hold still long enough to... This thing has been terrorizing me ever since we started, so if I can kill it, that would be... Oh, yeah, look at that. Woo! Hot damn. Okay, so... I think... I don't remember if we use the hatchet or the pick for hide. I'd rather get hide than meat from this thing. Man, even I can't hardly get to it. Okay, come back over here. 
I want to say... I don't even remember, you guys. If it's the hatchet or the axe to use. I completely don't remember that. I, I would think the pick... Let's just use the pick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you have anything to loot? No, it doesn't. Okay. That got us 38 hide and 50 meat, so maybe it was the other way around. Maybe I was supposed to use the hatchet. Okay. Well, it is what it is. That was great. Okay. That was, <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen, but I'm very glad it did. It worked out in our favor tremendously. Um, and we got 11 points, too. Hot damn. Okay. Uh, let's... We're not going to... Oh, man, I keep doing that. Don't put the fire out. I think, um... There's no way we're going to be ready to tame anything. Well, unless we got, like, a... Yeah, we're just not ready. And this isn't going to last long enough, so let's just cook it. We're going to have to take this out and put some wood in. Transfer. Split the stack. Split half. Okay, access inventory. Insert wood, start fire. We got a bunch of normal meat, too. Um, here, let's put at least one stack of that in there. We'll put the other stacks in here. Oh, no, we're already out of space. Damn it, Jim. Um, okay, let's get rid of or even just consume these three berries here. I want to save these for taming taming purposes. No, don't do that. <laughs> I'm so used to just pressing E. Uh, let's grab this out of here and put that uh, and this and put that in there. Nope, this two, that, there. Okay. Do we need to eat? We're going to have to eat fairly soon, but let's just put that down there. We'll store the keratin in here. And the charcoal. I mean, we're going to need to make another another bin, but we might be able to make the big one now, depending upon how our points goes. Okay, so let's do some points. Uh, we want some health. We want some stamina. We want some extra weight. Let's get fortitude up a couple more points. And then some more weight, some more stamina. Uh, or, I'm sorry, health, stamina. We probably should put a couple points into melee damage. Also, and then let's go wait one more time. Alright, cool. So that unlocks a whole bunch of uh, Ingram's for us. So we want a bola. We want a arrow. We don't need the bow right now because we have the crossbow. Um... I want this canoe. Look at all the points that we got for doing that. That was awesome. Um, let's see. I want to do foundations and wooden walls and wooden door frames, wooden doors, ceiling. Okay. Uh, we're going to want stimulant. We're going to want... go back this way. Uh, we're going to want we are going to want the bed for sure but I'm trying to be somewhat there. Uh, no, that's a wooden cage. Where's the big wooden storage? That's what I want. Oh man, we can already make leather? Okay, so we're going to need to learn that. Here we go. Large storage box. And we, we could also oh yeah, we could just make the raft actually. But the canoe is probably going to be cheaper. So, yeah, let's just stick with the canoe for the moment. I think we're going to want to learn the hide armor. Man, we, we, we really unlocked a lot of stuff here. There's the fishing pole. Smithy. And the forge. Wow. 
small wood elevator platform. Okay. So that gets us a preserving bin. Yep, we want that too. The thing is, those I don't know if I want... I mean, I'm not necessarily going to build my base right here. We're kind of in a, a limited area. So I'm almost wondering if we should... This is new. Delivery crate. A box with a gas bag attached that can be used to deliver items to another location. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think you get... Didn't you get the gas bags from critters in the Genesis... Uh, Genesis? Is that what it's called? Genesis Man? I don't remember. Trike saddle. Okay, yeah, let's do the hide armor. Okay, so we're out of points for these, so so we'll just keep... Oh, and we're going to need gunpowder too, of course. Beautiful. All right. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, well, let's make the hide armor, actually. And I also want to make... Uh, we should make the sleeping bag just so we have a spawn point over here. So let's do that first. And then we'll queue up those hide pieces. And then we're just going to have to wait till we level again to do the other hide pieces. We need more thatch and wood to make the large storage box. So put that there. I think we hold control. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I just did there. Oh, no, right, yeah. I think we hold control to pull that off, right? Yep, I remembered. Look at me. Okay, so we'll put the leather hat on. This... Can we not scrap these? Whip drop repair. I guess not. I'll put the hands on too. Hmm. I thought I must be thinking of seven days to die. I thought we could scrap stuff, but I guess not. Okay. Then there's no point in hanging on to those items. Let's just get rid of them. Uh, we're going to put the sleeping bag down over here somewhere close by there. All right. now we have a spawn point okay so I think our next order of business here is to gather more resources for the purpose of leveling so we can finish out our armor and then I think we're gonna probably make the canoe and get the hell out of here um, the thing is though let's look at a map We'd have to sail around the coast. So I guess I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to try and go overland to find, you know, where we would do our base. I'm not really sure yet. I got, I'm still trying to figure this all out. Oh, arrows. Yeah, we got to make arrows. So what do we need for those? We need flint, fiber, flint, and thatch. Okay, let's go back in here for a minute. We got fiber, flint, and thatch. Okay, so let's just make as many arrows as we have resources to make arrows. I think A makes, yeah, A for all. Make as many as you have resources for. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to grab this out of here. And we'll put some more meat in our inventory actually you know what the next thing I want to make is the large storage chest so we're gonna need wood we, we saw enough thatch we need wood and fiber to make one of these if we put the Ingram down here then it'll light up when we have all the stuff and then we can make it from there okay we're doing good we're doing good uh, let's put this in here uh, we'll put the flint in here and the spoiled meat. Uh, yeah, I, I need to make a bola before we can do anything with him. Okay, so let's see. We needed thatch and fiber, I believe. 
So let's start picking as much of that as we can. And just now we just need wood. And we got another level. Beautiful. Okay, we're just going to put this here. All right. I'm going to put these berries in. Uh, we'll store the berries in here. Uh, we don't care about the seeds. Let's get back into here for a minute and grab these berries out of here so they're all in the same spot. Berries, berries, berries. We'll keep raw meat in here because we're going to need that for taming later on. And uh, I think I'm going to put wood and these resources in here too. Stone, flint, and we'll keep that stuff there. Okay, kind of level. Um, let's put that into, see, 133, 133 weights, 155, fortitude, Let's go another point in health. And we want to continue unlocking the hide armor. So let's do a shirt and the pants. Fan, frickin' tastic. Okay. So to make the chest piece, we just need fiber and hide. Fiber and hide. Okay, we're gonna need more hide to make to make the pants. This increases our height hyper hyper no hypo hypothermal insulation, right? Yes it does, okay. It's not good for hot weather, but it's it's good for cold weather, which cold is the the nemesis right now. All right, so we need hide now. So let's go do some hunting. I'm not the best shot in the world with this at the moment. You're still, you're not dead yet. Okay, come here. All right, now he's dead. I don't want to drag the body. So, I think we need to use the axe for more hide. Yeah. We got a lot more hide than meat that time. So, it's the pick for meat, the axe for hide. I just couldn't remember. What's making that noise? Oh, it's another guy, and he's stuck. That sucks to be you, buddy. You know, we could try and actually tame this guy. Thing is, is Dylos get killed so easy, though. We have nothing to lose by trying, though. I need to make a slingshot or a club. What do I need for this? We just need some wood. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's see if we can actually knock that guy out and tame him, because why not? If he dies, he dies. Good, we got more hatchets. Beautiful. Okay, let's go drop some stuff off, and then we'll come back and knock this dude out and see if we can tame him. Now, do we have to have ammunition for slingshots? I don't remember. I mean, it would make sense that we that we would have to do that, but... What makes sense and what is actually the case is not, not always the same thing. Um, let's put this in here, and... 
I think I'll store the extra metal in here for the nonce. Okay, so to make the slingshot, uh, there we go. I think these have pretty poor durability, so let's make a couple. And is it just stone that we need, or do we need something else? Yeah, it's stone. Okay, cool. All right, let's grab these narco berries. I don't know if we'll need, actually need them, but we'll grab them anyways. And a stack of meat. And we're going to need a few more stones as well. I don't know how many stones it's going to take to knock that dude out. Okay, let's just try this and see how it goes. What is that? Oh, that's one of those uh, iguanodons, I think they're called. They're not hostile. Well, unless you attack them. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Got a little something something for you. I think ideally we want to hit him in the head, but that might be hard to do. There we go. Got him. Okay, so... Let's just throw that meat in there. And I don't know if he's going to need narco berries or not. He does seem to be losing his torpor pretty quickly. So let's just watch him for a second and see. Yeah, it's going down pretty quick. Uh, but I want to see how much he, he's tamed on the first tick. And then we might have to go gather some nar narco berries. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. I didn't even need to give him narco berries at all. He'll stand up here in about probably 15, 20 seconds. Our first tame, ladies and gentlemen, here in Ark Survival Vault. Well, my first tame since two and a half years ago, anyways. Hey! What the hell? Oh, it's just an Raptor. Uh-oh. Houston? We're stuck. Um, can I break this rock? Oh yeah, good. Okay. All right, dude. Can you carry some stone? Is that enough for me to move? Yeah. Okay. So we weighed, weighed him down a little too much. So let's go back to his inventory. And if we, he can hold 93 of those. Okay, so let's split this in half. And then we'll split it in half again. All right, I got to remember the whistles. He's going really slow because he's, so way down, but that's okay. As long as he works his way over here, we'll be good. Oh, I guess I was carrying those extra tools. No wonder I was so damn heavy. All right, let's go back over here. I named him really fast because I wasn't sure if we were being attacked, but we're actually going to go options. Wait, what? Options? Export unclaimed change name. This is Dilbert. Dilbert the Dilo. All right. Give me that stone. And then follow me over here, Dilbert. Okay, so let me go into here to keyboard shortcuts. Um, I, I remember you... Okay, you mean stay... Put. J is follow me. That's the dangerous one when you have a barnyard full of dinos. 
T is a specific dino to follow, and Y is a specific dino to stay put. Hyphen is neutral, semicolon is passive. Period is attack a specific target. Okay. So, I want... For now, I think I want you to be passive. Oh, wait. Okay, so he should be passive. And then I'll do hy <clears throat> hyphen if I want him to become neutral. And equals to attack somebody specific. I just got to get this in my brain. Okay, so... That's neutral. That's passive. And if I look at him, I can see in the little tooltip what he is. Neutral, passive. Okay, he needs some levels. Um, for... Uh, again, I'm not expecting him to last very long, but he might be able to assist us a little bit. Um, so, I think health is probably really the only thing that matters with these guys. Very good. Okay, where are we at? Are we, uh... We're doing good. We're already level 21. My goodness. Okay, that's good. That is good. We have one Ingram point. So, our next priority is... Probably... All right, well, there's one of two things I could do. I could I could actually build a little starter base here, which I'd build out of wood. Get get a mortar and pestle going so we can start making narcotic and that other, you know, that kind of stuff. And try and get ourselves a little bit better equipped before we set out. Or we could just set out and see, you know, come what may and see if we can find where we might want to have our permanent base. I'm not entirely sure at this point what we're going to do multiplayer wise like if we're going to all have just a big community base or or what. I think I'm probably going to want to have my own separate base but also you know contribute to, to a community base nearby or something. I don't know. We, we haven't really worked all those details out yet. I'm pretty sure one way or the other though I'm going to want my own base. But uh, I don't think this is the best place to have that base. So why don't we do this? Why don't we go around and I, 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 I guess I'm kind of liking the idea of setting up shop here. Just a small, you know, starter base concept. And just get a little bit better equipped before we, we set out. I think that's what we'll do. Um... And I mean, I guess this is probably as good of a place as any. Well, let's not assume that. Let's look around a little bit. Just on the on the beach. And we might as well also hit any more of these that we find. See, the thing I like about where we're currently at is we have that option to jump in the water. And then if, if it's a big dino and we get him caught, we can kill him like we did with the Carno. Got a trike there. The other consideration, though, now that I think about it, is that other people that join the server, if they start in this area, they're going to be down here, too. So what we could do is we could actually build a base that everybody could use when they first start, if they choose to do so. Some people, you know, like to have that help. Other people, like myself, want to do everything on their own. You know, so that is a pretty low level. So let's try this um, attack. Nice. Good job, Delbert. You got a point and I got a point. I'll give you some health. Um, let's give ourselves some weight 
And was I waiting for something else real specific here? I don't think so. All right, yeah, so that let's do that. Let's build a base that anybody that wants to, that starts in this area, can use. And if they don't want to, they don't have to, of course. If they want to go out on their own, completely get that. So, so the next question then is, where should we make that base? And what I can do then, too, is I could leave all these extra metal tools in there, you know, for people to, to take and use. So I like that idea. So now it's just a question of figuring out where where to do this. One thing that I'm not sure of is if those runes are a one-time shot uh, or if they're available to every player. You know, kind of like the hunter, uh, uh, well, not the hunter, but the artifacts. Every Each player can get their own artifact. I'm not sure about that. What level are you, dude? You are level 20. Okay. What about you? You are level 90. All right. If those guys stick around, we might try and tame them when we're a little bit better equipped to do so. This is a relatively flat location here. So we could build here. Let's go off this way. I think this is probably a little more central, though. And it could even be useful to... Um... Possibly build right on this water here, just so the water's right there. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Okay, so... Here's what we're going to do. We are going to start gathering resources and building uh, wood structures. So we're going to put the wood foundation down here. And it's going to be fiber thatch and wood, of course, that we'll need uh, to gather that. So let's go back to our storage and grab whatever we currently have for that. So grab all of the fiber, thatch, all the wood. Uh, I think fiber is going to be the big pain in the ass. Okay, how many of these can we make? I don't know. I'm just spamming this button. Let's see how many we can make. Exactly one. All right. Well, that's off to a start. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I want to put that Ingram back on here. So we're going to need more wood. Okay, let's place our first foundation. And I think what we'll do is we'll build right over the water, because why not? There's a, one of those little monkey dudes. Mesopithecus, I think they're called. All right, I'm going to go harvest up here because that way we can grab thatch and wood at the same time. Uh, and, um, I'm sorry, fiber. Well, actually, thatch too. Fiber, thatch, and wood. And we do get some of that from this stuff too, I believe. What are we short on now? We're short on fiber. Can I grab some fiber? You know, a sickle actually is... I can't quite grab any fiber. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Let's drop that momentarily. What? Oh, it's that Pelagornis. How much, um... How much can you carry, dude? Can you carry... a whole stack? No, you can't. You can carry 86 in total. Okay. Let's grab some fiber now. Thing about <clears throat> about the sickle though is we can't make it until we make the workbench and the forge and metal ingots and that sort of thing. Because I don't believe there's a stone version of the sickle in Ark, like there is in um, 
you know, Icarus and some of those other games. Okay, we got another level. So let's pump weight. And we'll just look and see. Okay, we need Trank Arrows, so we're going to learn that right now. Got unlocked fur armor, but don't need to worry about that right at the moment. Excuse me. All right, where is the damn sickle at? It's right here. Wow. you got to be level 30 to get that. Okay. Well, we're not quite there yet. All right, guys. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working on uh, the base here. And it's not gonna it's not gonna be a real big base. It's just gonna be large enough, you know, to put a forge and a workbench and a bed and you know the that's just the real basic thing. So I'm probably gonna make it a maybe a three by three or maybe a three by four. We'll see. But I think that's um gonna wrap up this episode. And so I'm just gonna do a little bit of grinding and I'll start the next episode. Um you know, at, at some point as the base starts to come together. All right. So I'll see you guys uh, in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.